Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable video for you. Today's video is on Forex. I guess Forex trading for beginners or, you know, experts, however y'all want to do it. But I just want to give y'all a couple of strategies that help me. Uh, right now, I'm currently in the trade. Uh, it's going up and down. It's getting ready to go in my favor again. Uh, but I want to give you guys some insight on how to become successful traders at the gate. All right. A lot of stuff that people, you know, may not tell you, right? One thing that helps me, first and foremost, these dotted lines here, these are the uh, separators. So these, you know, uh, separate each day. So this is a day, this is a day, this is a day. You could also look down here, right, to see uh, what day that you're trading in, but it gets confusing. So I usually tell people, you know, get these dotted lines on there. You can go to properties. Uh, let me see the separators right here. Period separators. So if I take these off and I say, okay, they'll go away. So you go to properties. Show separators. All right. So you can separate your days. Okay. So that way, you know, you'll be good. Now, I won about 20 straight trades when I was trading yesterday and I lost two. A 120 straight. Now, most people, uh, it's hard for them to win 10 straight trades, five straight trades. And so what I want to show you guys is you see the negative right here, a negative four dollars. That's one that I lost. And then a dollar 42 is one that I lost. Now, this is one of uh, a very small account because I'm just trying to see how I really want to test to see how small of an account I can start with and see how big I can build it so that way I can help you guys as well for you may who, who may not be able to put a lot of money in it so this is a fifty dollar account it's currently right now at a hundred dollars around a hundred and something dollars but um so as you can see these are all profits now one thing i want to tell you guys is when you're first starting do not be greedy okay do not be greedy get in and get out it's called scalping scalping is when you hop in the market and get out so as you can see right here, I want a dollar thirty-eight. Now I'm doing a two cent lot size, right? So a two cent lot size on all of these, and then I go to five cents. The reason why I go up is because you can make a little more money. Uh, but as you can see, one, two, these are all positive, so that I want a dollar thirty-eight. Both of those, two forty, two ninety, and this is all in in the same trade. All of these, all the way down. You don't see another negative until right here. And that was the only two I lost. And all of these are straight wins, right? And so what I want to show you guys is how different methods to be able to do that. All right. So number one, this is, this is strategy number one, find the high and the low of the day, right? So right here, the high of today is this. The reason why is because the market has not past this level yet so this is the high of the day and down here is the low of the day okay once you reach your lowest point of the day the market is going back up it's going back up if you if you notice the patterns of the market it's going to reverse so what i do is i wait till it gets to its lowest point and then i place a bunch of buys all right a bunch of buys and the market starts going up as you can see it was going to my favor. I was up like five dollars, but it fluctuates. See, it goes down and then it goes back up. And that's one thing I tell you guys. If you're starting to trade, make sure that you trade in the demo account first. Get used to getting your jitters out because a lot of the times this stuff right here is scare people. And so since it's still going a little lower, I'll place another buy there. All right. And you want to get as many buys in as possible because it's going to keep fluctuating back and forth but what i try to tell people is trade in the demo enough to where you can get your jitters out what i mean by is when you start to go into the negative like this people start to panic they're like oh man i'm, I'm losing money i'm losing money i gotta help and get out nah if you do it enough in a the demo then when you trade live it'll start to feel like the demo so the riskier the trades, you kind of like, oh, it doesn't matter because you feel like it's demo, but it's not. And don't be afraid to lose a little money, guys. You're going to lose a little money. I love when it goes down low like this because this helps me out because as soon as it retrace, I'm going to calculate all that bread. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna keep on placing these bots. And this is what this is the, one of the strategies that I was doing yesterday is I was catching all the retracements, right? And so as the market gets a little lower, the, when it gets to its lowest point, if it passes the low of the day, it's getting ready to reverse. Okay, so you just continue to place your uh, trades. Once it retraces, you get out. Okay, that's strategy number one. Strategy number one, catch the retracements, right? Strategy number two, and so strategy number two that I have for you guys is watching out for the M's and the W's, okay? So what do I mean by M's and W's? What do I mean by M's and W's? As you can see, I'm in profit now. I was negative 20. You see why I tell people not to worry? The market's going to continue to do its thing. But what do I mean by M's and W's, guys? So when you're looking at the market, and honestly, you can start taking some of these trades out, right? If you're winning, I don't care if you're winning a dollar, two dollars, it's money. You can take it, right? All these are winning trades. These are kind of small, so I may let some of these ride. But all the dollars, you can take those. And now you can see the account is $101. So it's really at $124 because I did the bonus. But I went from 50 to 100 in two days. Right? And the bigger your account gets, the more, the bigger uh, the trades you can do. But, but back to the M's and the W's, guys. Back to the M's and the W's. So if you notice in the market, each day will have its M's and W's. For instance, the day that I'm on now, which is this one, right? M, I'm going to show you the M. Pay close attention to this line right here, right here. You'll see right here. And I always tell people, because I learned this from Pip Society, Leo, he's a beast. Leo is a beast. So if you come across Pip Society, he's dope. Um, you always trade the second leg of the M. So as you see the M forming, and so this is as a new trader, don't just hop in trades. Make sure you uh, check out the analysis of the the charts. Look at it. Once you see a setup, then you trade. You don't have to trade unless you see a setup. Okay. So what you do is you see the M. This is the second leg of the M right here. The second leg. So then what you do, trade that leg, right? And then you can see how many pips that was, right? There you go. 25 pips all the way down. So depending on your lot size, that could be good money. But if you're starting out with a small account, then you want to make sure, you know, that you protect your account. Okay. Always make sure you protect your account. So that's the m and the w method well i'll show you the w but th this is the m method so when you whenever you see it forming the market goes up it goes down goes up a little bit you got your head and shoulders right and then on that second m on the second leg of the m it's coming down and you're out of there so once it gets down to a point where you're comfortable just get out the trade it doesn't matter if you win listen if you turn five cent into a dollar you can get out it doesn't you don't have to make millions listen it's about compounding your account over time don't rush and try to say i want to make you know five hundred dollars right now like no just let it build over time if you win three dollars five dollars you know uh however much you're going to win you can get out because you made money so don't get in here and just be like oh man i need to make this much i need to make this much okay not not yet not out the gate so let me show you guys a W. Okay, now there's plenty of them. There's some big ones and there's some little ones. So here's another W. Let me go back out. I see one. All right, so right here. Market comes down. Market goes back up right here. It goes down. And what do I say? Trade that second leg of the W right here. Trade that thing all the way up to the top. Okay. So if you notice, there's an M here too, though. <laughs> there's an M here. So at the gate, if you see these setups, guys, then you can trade them. 
right? It's an M out the gate. Right here. All the way down. And then goes back into a W. Right? So sometimes it's not going to be a perfect setup, but the mo the moment you see these things, you can start to trade, right? You can start placing trades according to that, and you can do it all day long. And that's why people say they can walk up to their computer, see a setup, and immediately get in. So can you make more money with more money in your account? The answer is yes. You can make a lot more money if you have a lot more money in there. So normally, uh, if all you have is around $50, uh, well, I know with this platform, FX Glory, uh, I think they'll let you deposit around twenty dollars, twenty to fifty dollars. I think fifty is my, probably the max, but fifty um, at the least, at the minimum, and then up to however much you want. And then I think Trader's Way, uh, I think maybe be around ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars, something like that, uh, that you'll be able to do. Uh, at, at the minimum, but you can only do small lot sizes, and small trades, right? So what I recommend starting out, if you're just starting out and you want to do live, come down here to one cent, right? Because one cent is equivalent to 10 cent uh, in the markets, meaning the market will move 10 cent every uh, candlestick. Every time it drops, it's going to move 10 cent. Now, if you do a dollar, which is a standard lot, the market moves $10. You get it. You do two dollars, the market moves twenty dollars. You do three, the market moves thirty dollars. Uh, you know, and so on and so forth. So, you know, at five we're looking at around fifteen cent. Uh, and like I said, don't when your account goes negative, don't be scared. Sometimes you need to know when to get in and when to get out. But in my case. Is reaching pretty much matter of fact I can go ahead and put another buy because as it continues to reach its lowest point I'm just gonna place a buy because it's getting ready to shoot back up and so that doesn't bother me you know what I mean because I know the market and I know how it works now are you gonna win a hundred percent of your trades no definitely won't but what you guys need to understand is once you see these setups it's a wrap now I already talked to you guys about this shark out of the water method in the, in another video and uh, you can get these indicators from me for $45 as far as this indicator. But if, if you also want the, you know, Forex trading, I do have a course on that below this video. You can go to uh, the wealthyempire.net, click on Forex trading, and you could be on the team. And, you know, you can do it like that. But last thing, guys, last thing. So we talked about the M's and the W's. We talked about the retracements, right? And so... Let me see if I can find another chart, guys, where, because it was a big move yesterday, not that chart. I'm trying to see if I can find where it was a huge move. Uh, sometimes, well, let me show you guys another uh, thing right quick, because sometimes the, the M's aren't, you know, as pretty, but you can see this M clear as day. You can see this M clear as day, guys. Once you start to see these, you'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, it's time to eat. So that's the M, okay? Sometimes the M's and the W's are not pretty. Like, you, can, you can't really tell. It's kind of hard to tell. As you guys can see, I'm almost back in profit, and that's why I try to tell you guys, do not be scared of what the market is doing. See? Shooting back up, just like I said. <laughs> just like I said. Oh, this one is $1.81. I can get out of that one. That's money. You see what I'm saying? Just take little by little. Once you have a small account, when you have a small account, you can take little by little. I'll wait till the rest of these going uh, in the positive, and then I'll get out. All right. But uh, last thing, guys. Last thing. Always make sure you're paying attention. Right. And always make sure if you're new and you're scared to lose money, what you can do is drag these down. And it'll tell you right here on the side how much you can lose. So if you look to the far left, as I'm moving this, you'll see negative $2, uh, negative uh, 283. This is your stop loss. This is how much money you are willing to lose. If you want to walk away from your computer for the day and you want to be able to go enjoy your day and not have to worry about watching the, the charts, you can set the stop loss. Right. 
and let's say you only want to lose three dollars so you're going to lose three dollars and 37 cents for each of these trades if you only want to lose a dollar eighty then you will place it here right so that that you need to set your stop losses if you plan on walking away from your computer okay so this, this is going back up I could have placed some more buys but I'm not gonna do it and then you could also set your take profit so right here is how much money you want to make right how far do you think the market is gonna go up so you can drag it up and if you look to the far left as I'm moving this you can see the you know 680 693 730 how much do you want to make so I would make seven dollars and six cents for each of these if the market reaches this and it'll close itself out so that way you can walk away from the trade okay so that should these are things are important especially when you have a lot of money and you're doing bigger lot sizes like for me I'm gonna use my credit card okay I'm gonna use the bank's money I'm going to put in uh, probably around three to four thousand this is one of my accounts I have a one with traders way too uh, some of these are going in profit now as you can see that's a dollar oh, that's a dollar uh, all of it I'll take that I'll take that last dollar okay and as you can see I'm in profit a hundred and four dollars right and so now that went up to like probably freaking how many straight trades now look at these guys I still only lost two trades and I won all of the rest of these trades look at that up to $104 off $50 hmm profit $54 and 11 cents so far and I deposited 50 so like I said that's how it's done and you could do that all day long but if you want to learn more because there's a lot a lot of different strategies that you can use uh, like I said you can click the link below hit me up my information is below if you want to learn this trading stuff it's absolutely insane can make you some really good money once you learn the skill you'll win all right so with that being said guys I'm out of here let me know what kind of videos you want to see If you want to see more trading Forex videos on how to you know do it let me know I'll make more videos if you want to you know see what you want to see just comment below all right peace